President-elect Joe Biden's early cabinet picks are reportedly worrying his black allies who now say they feel left out of the transition process. NBC News reports prominent civil rights advocates say they haven't been consulted about key cabinet picks and are frustrated they haven't met with Biden since the election. Joining me now is Democratic Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman of New Jersey. She serves on the Appropriations and Homeland Security Committees and is a member of the Congressional Black Caucus who endorsed Biden, we should note, in the Democratic primary. Congresswoman, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Let me get your thoughts, if I can, on how the president-elect is handling his transition and appointment so far. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. I think this is an important discussion, and it's an important discussion at an early time. I think that the I'm, I'm pleased that the president has uh, made some uh, appointments of black women in particular, and a black man in particular, uh, announced during the first sort of round of um, announcements. But I'm concerned that I don't see the kind of representation uh, discussed or confirmed at the highest level, at the level of the cabinet, with the exception of one notable exception. Um, we need to make sure that African Americans who have great expectations as a result of being so uh, instrumental in this wonderful victory, we also have very qualified, educated, experienced, and ready, willing, and able um, African Americans and Black folks that are willing to serve and able to serve at the cabinet level. We want to be there at the table when we are debating and discussing uh, policy. And when we're talking about the, uh, the priorities and the application of resources to those priorities, and that happens at the cabinet level. And, and that is the area in which we haven't seen uh, the kind of confidence that that's happening in an affirmative way. What uh, we're happy. Sorry, I apologize. Go ahead. I apologize. Go ahead. I was saying, you know, but obviously we're pleased at uh, the appointments that, that have been made thus far. It's disappointing that some of those women who are so eminently qualified and uh, dynamic uh, have a deputy or an assistant or a second tier in front of their position when they could have very well been in the first tier. And that's not to discredit anyone who was named to that first tier. So let me ask you then, what positions would you like to see uh, representation in? Well, there are so many um, that impact the policies that are important from um, the environment to education to the health and human services, the agriculture, of course, the Justice Department. Uh, that's a huge issue for us. There, there are a range of, of cabinet level positions for which we can find very qualified uh, black Americans, female and, and male, um, particularly female, because we showed up in a very big way on behalf of this uh, this team that has that has won and will take the office in uh, a few short days, hopefully. Let me, if I can, ask you about um, Doug Jones here for a moment. He's one person rumored to be considered on the short list of attorney generals. Would you support uh, Doug Jones with his track record in civil rights in Alabama and the cases he's prosecuted there? I don't have any problems with Doug Jones, but I don't think the discussion should be um, whether or not we would accept Doug Jones over someone uh, who's African or, or African American or Black or whatever. Um, of course, he's qualified. Of course, he's done wonderful work in uh, the field. But so has Deval, Deval Patrick, and, right. and so have others. And so I don't want to be in a position where we're saying, well, would you Black people accept uh, Doug Jones uh, if he were named? We're going to accept the positions and the people that this this president and vice president put into office because we believe that collectively they're going to save our democracy and they're saving our country. But we also believe and have high expectations from the black community that we're going to be at that table when those issues are being discussed and those decisions are being made. All right. Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I really appreciate your insights. Thank you for having me. Yep. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.